do subsea engineering from the very earliest time when you first found it and you want to connect it up. So we do the design side all the way through to when it, once it's built, we look after it and do the operations and maintenance side support all the way through to decommissioning. We have the diver here in the bell. The stuff that anyone else can do doesn't generally come our way, so we tend to get the, the more difficult or the more interesting stuff. She's independent of installation contractors and manufacturers, so we can give impartial advice to our clients. We're not tied to a specific product or a specific vessel. We've been trading now for 23 years. We've systematically recruited the, the very best engineers in the world. And that's the one area we won't compromise on, is the standard of our, our people and our engineers. We've got a, a Rolls-Royce engineering engine here. I'm very enthusiastic for the future. We're already nearly double the size we were six months ago. We're hiring people, very good engineers are coming in to join us. We'll be able to persuade them. Anodes to provide protection forever in the day. Our training courses are recognised worldwide um, as being amongst the best for training subsea engineers around subsea engineering and subsea pipelines. <music> We've recently entered the renewables industry and in, in this industry we are uh, targeting clients that have problems with their fatigue on wind farm cables and we can deploy systems that can monitor the motion of these cables and ultimately find out the fatigue life. Subsea engineering is the sexy end of oil and gas. It is where all the, the high-tech equipment gets used it's where all the research and development is moving. We're going into deeper water, we're going into higher temperature, higher pressure reservoirs. And at the end of the day, as an engineer, it's fun. I like solving problems, and particularly if no one else has solved it, or no one else can do it, I love that.